Hey guys, Lydia here from Creative Studios. Today I'm going to be doing a review on Unicorn Phil's natural wood filament. So let's get started. Alright guys, so this filament is really nice. What it came in was just this uh, box that would fit a normal spool, one kilogram of filament. And it did come with this clear wrap over it, like a little package kind of. Um, nothing like a bag or anything. And um, that was just some pretty simple uh, packaging. So I did take that off already. And um, this filament actually has a nice texture to it. So this filament, um, as you can see right here, has the temperature of 165 to 180 which is pretty low actually um, I am printing it at 190 degrees right now but the bed temperature is 40 to 50 I did print it at 60 degrees just to make sure it adheres to the bed and that has been working out pretty good as of now so I am really excited to start printing with this and a Another big thanks to Unico Phil for sending me this filament and the other filament that I did a review on already. Now don't forget to go check that out. I will put a link in the description and at the end of the video. So um, let's hop on the printer, power it up, and check out some cool time lapses. So this is the maker coin I printed and it turned out pretty good actually. I did test out uh, to see if this would be able to be stained and as you can see it did work actually pretty good. Not a severe stain as it would in normal wood but it did change the color of the print. So let's check out the bottom here. The first layer was pretty great actually and all these overhangs turn out very nice. The support came off really easily and these sidewalls look great as they do in all the other maker coins that I've printed. And the top layer is completely filled in with three top and bottom layers. There are no gapping in any of these parts of the print. The layering you can barely see. And I did not try to sand down the print. I was going to try that, but I decided not to because I already stained the print. And this is the Mega Coin. So let's move on to the Maui. Okay, so this is the Maui. And as you can see, there's a crack here. Now, this crack was totally my fault. I was trying to get it off my print bed by just ripping it off instead of using my spatula, and I broke the head off. So. I did attempt to glue it with wood glue and it worked pretty well. So I guess you can use wood glue to glue these wood filament prints together. So the bottom layer on the Maui turned out wonderful and again it stuck really nicely to the bed. The layers look really nice, everything is pointed and you can see and the ears overhangs did great as well and this print just overall printed really nice and I'm really happy with the final finish. So our third print was this box and this box printed in two pieces the box and the lid and uh, I did have some stringing issue actually with the coin and this box. So for your settings for the retraction you do want to make sure that is really high because um, as you can see down here, there's still some left over. I will put a picture right here of what it looked like before I started cleaning up. The bottom layer on the lid wasn't very great, uh, and neither was it on the box part. But overall, this whole print turned out really nice. It does look like a wooden box. I printed this in 20% infill as of all of these prints. And it is a really strong print, actually. And the surface of the print is nice and smooth. You can barely see the lines. They, they just look like wood grain. And they turn out really nicely. So I'm really liking this print. It just shows 
how wood-like this filament actually is. So let's go check out the final print in this wood PLA. Alright guys, so this is my final print in this wood filament and you cannot really tell what this is but it is a lithophane. Um, I think I printed it too thick. I did have three perimeters on this and it is at 100% infill. I'm pretty sure this would work a lot better if I only had two perimeters on it but um, this print did print out really nicely actually. You can see this one mess up line here. During the print my filament broke so I had to pause the print and reinsert the wood filament so that I could keep the print going and let it complete just like this. I printed this with six perimeters of a brim around the edge so it would print uh, nice and stick to the bed. I will do a full video on how to make your own lithophane. They are pretty cool and I'm gonna start doing a lot with them. So this was the final print and so let's just get on with the video. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. I really hope you liked it. I had a lot of fun printing these prints and exploring the new world of wood filament. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button down below and stick around for more videos just like this one. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.